I'm going to show you how to use Photoshop's Adjustment Layers feature to turn an ordinary color photo into an artistic image with a black and white background and a few full color accent areas. In this example, the flowers and the bouquet wrap will remain in color while the rest of the image will be converted to black and white. Let's begin by adding a black and white adjustment layer. Simply click on the Create New Filler Adjustment Layer button at the bottom of the Layers palette and select Black and White. Now here in our original image, our subject's skin tone was a little uneven. She has some kind of a visible tan line and we're going to smooth out her skin and just give it a more even overall appearance here. Ignore the look of the flowers. Um, we're just going to concentrate on her skin here. Let's increase both the red and the yellow values a little until her skin just looks smoother and more even overall. Click OK. Now what we're going to do is select the areas that we want to remain in color using the Quick Selection tool. You can access this tool with the keyboard shortcut W or by selecting it from the tool palette. I'm starting with a larger brush to select a larger area at one time and I'm increasing my brush size by using the right bracket key. For a smaller detail area, I would use the left bracket key. It's much easier and faster than going up to the brush size slider and changing it back and forth. Let's start with the bouquet scarf. I'm just adding one small area at a time. And in some places, the selection border may not go exactly where I want it to. It might select part of her dress or part of her glove since those values are similar here. But that's okay. Since we're using a layer mask, it's going to be very quick and easy to go back in and clean up the selection border later and just make it go exactly where we want it to. So let's just do a very rough quick select here just so you can get the idea of what the finished product is going to look like. Selecting the leaves, the flowers over here. I'm not going too close to the edge of the bouquet because I know that those are going to be areas that are a little bit trickier to select precisely. There, that looks pretty good. Now I'm going to fill these with black, working on the layer mask. Make sure to go up and click on the layer mask thumbnail in the layers palette and make sure that your colors are set to the default black foreground and white background colors here. You can do that quickly and easily by pressing the D shortcut key. And you can also switch between the two colors, making the white the foreground and the black the background by pressing X. This is a good shortcut to know. You'll be using it frequently as you're working on layer masks. I'm going to press X one more time to bring them back to their default values. And now I'm going to fill the selection that I already have outlined by going to Edit, Fill, and I'm going to fill in black. And immediately you see that now the layer mask is hiding these areas of our black and white adjustment layer, and the colors from the background image are visible. After filling the quick selection on the layer mask, we're going to switch to the brush tool for some of the finer detail work. This is one place where a pen tablet is an absolutely invaluable tool. It's just much easier to go in and get tiny fiddly little details selected precisely when you're working with a pen tool that fits right in your hand rather than a, a big clumsy mouse. I'm making sure here that my colors are set to the default of black and white. I'm going to zoom in on this area that's around her hand. and work on adding some color to those sunflower petals. Switching back to the brush tool and taking it down to a small size. I'm just coloring over the flower petals just as if I were coloring in a coloring book. Now, let's say all of a sudden my pen slips. I never was very good at coloring in coloring books, and I end up with a big blue streak here right across her glove. No problem. I can fix that very easily just by pressing X to switch between my foreground and background colors, and I'll just increase the brush size a little bit 
and go right back over my mistake. There. It's like it never existed. After fine-tuning your layer mask, it's time to make any desired final adjustments to your image. Here, I thought the contrast between the brilliantly colored flowers and scarf and the soft black and white background was just a little too stark. So I decided to reduce the saturation of the colored layer to make a softer, more vintage style final product. Simply open the Hue and Saturation dialog box by pressing Control or Command U. Then reduce the saturation as much as you like. Click OK to finish. And I have a beautiful final image that has a soft vintage quality to it and is perfect for any special portrait or an image containing an object found in nature. Try this dramatic look on one of your own photos and remember that the easiest and most flexible way to make fine-tuned adjustments to just a part of an image can almost always be found here in the layers palette with the fill and adjustment layer command. Thanks for watching and we hope to see you back soon at digitalscrapbooking.com.